Sorry for the background noise. Got Talbot Industries machine shop division over there. Running the dirty old lathe. Anyway, we're trying to put some finishing touches on this old girl, mechanically anyway. So I just want to give you guys a moment to appreciate Wiring Harness 2.0 by Kyle. Fucking mint. We're able to reuse all of the old harness and obviously make some additions now that we have things like the alternator, the stop solenoid, that sort of thing. Um, we need to wrap the downpipe, but the exhaust is basically mounted, at least for now, good enough. And the last hurdle that we have to overcome is making the throttle work. And we lucked out on the first engine because on that one the throw on the throttle was pretty short, as is the throw on the throttle cable on the cart because we're using the factory throttle cable. This guy, there's a lot more movement to it. So we started off in this lower hole and it was just like that, barely coming off idle. So what we did is made this smaller tab here which significantly reduces the, th the travel distance to go from idle to full throttle. And the issue that we were then having was that because we were so close to the fulcrum, there was very little leverage. So what I did was there used to be a spring right here, a torsion spring to return it to idle. And I took that off expecting to have to add a spring. And to my surprise, I found that there's another spring must be internal to the pump that kicks it back to idle. So that was really cool. So that's that and so we got this guy that we made up featuring some child tig talbot action anyway so what this guy does is it sits on the top of the pump like that and then the throttle cable goes through this nut and goes over and grabs that tab on the injection pump so just getting that done and uh, we're just finishing up the hardware to attach it. So Kyle's working on turning a piece on the lathe there that you'll see momentarily. Once that's good, then um, things pretty much ready for another test strip. We're going to need to switch this brake cable out for one off the parts cart, which is longer because with the new oil pan, it doesn't clear or it doesn't reach back to the axle. And especially once we go to put the uh, skid plate on it. So we're getting pretty close to a test run though. And uh, even though we've driven it like five times. And the cool thing now is it starts and stops on a key. So that's a big step forward. There's only two things you do when you got a diesel golf cart. Number one, raise hell. Number two, praise Dale. <laughs> joking aside, things turn out pretty mint at the moment. And we got the throttle dialed in actually pretty stinking good on the first attempt. The electrical system kicks ass. It seems louder, which I think you can kind of attribute to the fact that we increased the fuel and that probably like because it's mechanical, maybe it's like not agreeing with the timing and it's a little bit louder because of that. Uh, we currently don't have brakes on the right side there, so we got to get that different cable on. But, I'll show you guys real quick. That wasn't supposed to happen. So, preparation continues to send it. So, we're working on our skid plate, which is a repurposed animal scale and it's diamond plate it's about eighth inch thick or so so it should be good enough for a little bit anyway 
Um, also started working on some of the rear electrical and just ran these little extension harnesses out so that we can eventually hook up the lights whenever my fucking switches get here. So uh, just working on a skid plate mostly so we can bounce this thing off some rocks and not put holes in the oil pan. Look at that fine automobile. No dents, except for a million. Just got back from a test rip and uh, pretty good rip. Went in, the, went in the mud a little bit, as you can see. Went down the road for a little bit. So initial impressions, we're gonna cut a hole somewhere there so the radiator can get more airflow because we did have it up to like 200, 205 a couple times, which in all reality is fine. It's just you don't want to try and sustain that because that is a little on the warm side. Um, when we went off road, the skid plate did its job. No real visible damage to it. That would mean that it didn't really hit anything. The work that we did on the front end is great. Thing drives phenomenal. Goes straight. The wheel goes back to center pretty easily. Throttle seems to work good. Started and stopped it a bunch of times, no problem. We were able to get it to do a wheelie. So all in all, a very successful test drive. So like I said, our, our next round is gonna be um, giving the radiator cold air supply, getting the lights going, doing some electrical, and then seeing if we can finally get the roof on this thing. So that's gonna do it for this video. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned because it's gonna be time to work on the truck pretty soon.